whatever you want to do, whether you just want to build a website or you just want to build an app or whatever you have in your mind, you don't have to have any kind of coding experience thanks to this. So it's a tool that helps you use your natural language in order to explain what do you want. And you don't have to be a programmer. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have you don't have to write a single line of code. Honestly, it's the same as you would use ChatGPT. You give a prompt, which doesn't have to be a specified prompt. You know, these specified prompts when you want to create an image with Midjourney, for example. Well, none of that sort. You can use your natural language in order to explain what do you want. So, for example, you can just tell it, okay, make me a blog about fitness, let's say, that talks about that and that and just leave me some place for pictures, leave me the menus and all of that. So today we're going to talk about cursor and what it is and how it functions and we'll just see a quick demonstration of what it can do and of course one more tool which will allow you to see all of this in real time and we'll talk a bit of how to make money with this essentially. Yeah. So first of all this is cursor, right? So this is a software which you will have to download. You can find the software at cursor.ai and as you can see they dub it the AI code editor and it's the same as Visual Studio Code. If you have any experience with coding you know what it is. If you don't, well no big deal, you don't have to know it. You can download this one for free from the website here. You have these demos, they will explain and lead you through everything. You don't in fact have to watch this video of mine, but I gotta tell you that I'm not affiliating for them. I just happened to use it and I wanted to share it. So you can just head over to Google and type in Cursor AI and it's gonna be the first result. So it is over at cursor.com. When you land on the page, you can see you can download it for free. There is a paid version of it, but you don't have to, as you can see. You've got 2,000 completions, and that's 2,000 prompts for you, so you don't have to go to this one unless you want to scale this even further. And this is how it's going to look like inside. From here, you can start doing whatever you can. If this is too small for you, you can just click Control or Command on your Mac, and then you can just click the plus icon to increase the size of it, but you can do the same thing with this. So you can just go to view, then you can just head over to appearance, and then you can just scroll down to zoom in, and there you have the shortcuts. So now it's gonna be better. So you can just now type it out. But how do you get the prompt? So control, or once more command, and just hit the K button, right? Like Kale. And then you just hit it, and then you just see new code instructions. So what do you have to do now? All you have to do, well, you just have to type it out in natural language, all right? So let's just do it like this. Build me a website or a blog. Let's just go with website about fitness and its importance. Leave some space for images or pictures. Then I want to have a top menu and I want to have a drop down menu on the left like that and that is actually all I need all I have to do now is to click on generate button and there as you can see it's writing the code all right so it's so fast it's so good you don't even have to know what all of this means and you can still build websites all right so as you can see, this is the whole code. Now, if you want to change anything, and I'll show you that later on, you have this here, so follow-up instructions, but we'll touch on that a little bit later. So now what I want to do, well, I want to check this out. I want to see how it looks like. And for that, we're going to use another tool, which is called Replit. Now, Replit is a thing that works on its own, and it can be used in order to see what kind of result cursor made for you. There is also one more thing which allows you to connect Replit to Cursor, but you have to pay for Replit subscription. But all it does, it's just doing it in real time. If you don't want to pay for it, you have to copy and paste the entire code, but that's not big a deal. Let's just see how it works. All you have to do is to create yourself an account. 
You can Google for it, just like Cursor. So it's replit.com. Just make yourself an account. And then from your dashboard, you will just head over to create REPL here. And then you've got a few of these templates. So for example, if you were building an app through Python, you will just use this one. But in this case, we're just gonna use HTML, CSS, and Java, and click on that. And then you just have to name it, give it a title. So let's just go with Fitness 101. Let's just do it like that. And then you just create that REPL. Now you've got three of these for free. And now all you gotta do is to paste your code. I will delete all of this one. This is just an example. I will move back to cursor now and copy the entire code. All right, so the entire code has to be copied. Then you move back to REPL and then you just paste the entire code here. As you can see, this is it. This is our text here, which is gonna be placeholder. Later on, you will define that. And all you gotta do is to switch over here to web view. All right, so web view, you click here on the refresh button and then you've got your website, right? Now from here, you can add the images. You can change the text colors. You can change the background colors. You can change whatever you want. And the web page is going to be responsive as well. As you can see, if people just see it on desktop, it's going to look like this. If people see it on mobile, it's going to look like this. And then you've got these sections here. You've got top menu as I've told it to make. And then, you know, you've got all these pages ready for you. Now, whatever you wanna change. For example, you wanna make the color background red. You can just click here and change it yourself or you can just use follow-up instructions. So you just say it like, make the background color, you know, red or add one image there or change the font of the text to Times New Roman, right? And if you click on that, as you can see, change the font of the text to Times New Roman, it's just gonna do the thing, right? And of course, every time on the free version, you have to copy, then you have to delete all of this, and then you just have to paste again, and then you just have to refresh. And as you can see, the font has been changed. Now, I've seen a lot of people use this one on Fiverr, and they do get a lot of money for this. But in a nutshell, it's such a simple job, right? For example, this first person here. Well, this person has a lot of reviews. Now, not everyone is gonna leave a review, so I know for sure that this person has more than, let's just say, 1,200 reviews, 1,200 jobs. And as you can see, for one basic page, so it's just a page, it's $72 for one of these, right? So it's such a good job. The standard version, as you can see, up to eight pages, it's $108. The basic one is up to five pages. Forgive me for that. But the price structure, you know, you, you can just go and see how other people are doing it and what kind of pricing structure they have in place. And you can just replicate that. The most important part is that you invest some time in order to, you know, learn how all of this functions. And as I've told you, you've got a lot of help from Cursor itself on the website. So if you spend some time here and if you just dedicate yourself in order to understand how all of this works and what it can do, well, you can make wonders, right? And you can live off of this. Now, this is not gonna be something that will make you a million dollars right away the next month. You can forget about it. This is not a get rich quick scheme. You still have to go and see what kind of things can be done with this tool and there are great great many many things that can be done and later on you just have to implement this inside of your own work having some prior experience with coding is going to help of course but even if you don't have that experience you can start making some easy money with this one and my honest suggestion is that you start within your local area so within your local area there's plenty of people around that need help with the web, you know, with the websites and whatnot. A lot of people are just making e-commerce websites. A lot of people are just want to, want to make blogs or whatever. So you can essentially offer your services there first, and then you can just go online whenever you feel ready for it. And honestly, even, you know, your local bakery nowadays needs a website. So this is a thing that it's just gonna expand. 
So if you learn how to use this one, if you go and practice, you know, you don't have to watch a lot of tutorials. All you're gonna do is to download this one and then start building something. And whenever you encounter certain problem, for example, you don't know how to put this text over here, you just go and Google for it. And then you will surely find a person who did that before you. That's what programmers do all the time. If they don't know how to solve something, they just Google for it. And there's 100% you know, possibility that there's another person who had the exact same problem before them. So yeah, dedication and hard work. And you can make this a great side hustle at the start. And later on, you can make it a full-time job. It is possible, but yeah, it is gonna depend on you. I just wanted to show you these tools. You don't have to even pay for them at the start. Later on, you will surely find the need for it. So yeah, wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next video.